The 90 Day Fiancé spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, follows a group of Americans making the big move to their partner's native country in the hopes of getting married and living happily ever after. On the way, a series of culture shocks and tensions arise within couples as they work out if their marriage material. The series reverses the K-1 visa experience where people move to the U.S. in the hopes of marrying their American fiancé and making a life there. With a new take on the 90 Day Fiancé format, it's worth checking out what the cast from the first season is up to now. Tiffany Franco Maryland native, Tiffany Franco, moved to South Africa to be with her fiancé, Ronald Smith, taking her young son from a previous relationship with her. The pair got married after her arrival in the country and had a daughter shortly afterward, but their relationship on the show was filled with arguments about Ronald not supporting the family. Since the show ended, Tiffany and Ronald have split up seemingly for good as of 2022, and Tiffany appeared on another spin-off, 90 Day Fiancé, The Single Life. For now, Tiffany is seemingly single and is devoting her time to her new makeup line, having worked as a makeup artist previously. Ronald Smith When fiancé Tiffany Smith came to Ronald's native South Africa, he had just left a six-month rehab stay for gambling addiction and had a criminal record. Although he was able to start life anew with a new bride and baby, he and Tiffany had a tumultuous relationship surrounding Ronald allegedly neglecting his duties, as well as cheating accusations. Ronald did make a cameo on 90 Day Fiancé, The Single Life as the pair tried to reconcile, but they seem to have split for good. Ronald describes himself on Instagram as a digital creator, but further details about his new job, as well as his relationship status, are unknown to fans. Corey Rathgeber Corey moved to the small town of Engabao, Ecuador, to be with his hopeful future wife, Evelyn, having met her on a backpacking trip several years prior. The two argued constantly after his move over almost every subject, from having children to accusations of cheating. Nevertheless, the pair got married at the end of the season. Rumors have swirled among 90 Day Fiancé fans about the couple breaking up, due to their chaotic relationship and the fact their relationship is not widely shared on social media. As of a 2022 Instagram post, the former 90 Day Fiancé couple are still together, with Corey still living in Ecuador. Evelyn Villegas Evelyn was season 1's greatest villain, with many viewers outraged at her abusive behavior towards Corey. Evelyn had misled Corey about family plans and what she was doing with his finances, as well as cheating on him with one of his best friends. As of 2022, Evelyn, according to her Instagram bio, is still running the beach bar in Engabao that she took Corey's money from to fund without his prior knowledge, and earns extra money by making content on Cameo and OnlyFans. Recently, Evelyn shared that she and Corey celebrated their 8th anniversary together. Devon Clegg 90 Day Fiancé star, Devon Clegg, was a single mother before moving to South Korea to be with fiancé Ji-hoon, having previously met him and fallen pregnant after a whirlwind romance. Upon her arrival in South Korea, she was disappointed in Ji-hoon's lack of support for their growing family. They were married by the end of season 1, but Ji-hoon continued to fail to meet Devon's expectations during season 2. In 2022, Ji-hoon and Devon's divorce was finalized. Devon began a relationship with another South Korean man named Topher Park, and they are now expecting a baby together. 
Sadly, Devon's son with Jihoon, Taeyang, was diagnosed with leukemia and she has been updating fans on the young boy's progress. Jihoon Lee Jihoon was 28 when he met 20-year-old Devon, although most fans feel he was behind her in maturity. He had previously been in trouble with the law for selling stolen phones and had not prepared for his family to move to Korea, so they had to live with Jihoon's disapproving parents. After he and Devon split, Jihoon publicly posted about he hasn't been able to see his young son when Devon was granted sole custody of Taeyang, according to Cinema Blend. Devon, however, alleged that Jihoon hasn't kept in contact with his son, even after his cancer diagnosis. Jenny Sladen 60-year-old Jenny moved to India to be with 30-year-old Sumit, having met him online. Even stranger than that, Sumit had previously been catfishing her as a different man. Still, Jenny stayed faithful to Sumit and stayed with him in hiding from Sumit's parents. However, when she found out that Sumit was already married, thanks to his parents' arrangement, she moved back to the U. S. Jenny then gave Sumit another chance and she has stayed in India for over a year, having been stuck there through the pandemic, as reported by In Touch Weekly. This time together seems to have worked well, as the pair surprisingly got married in 2021. Sumit Singh fans of 90 Day Fiancé once loved and then grew tired of Jenny and Sumit's on-again, off-again relationship and the couple has now spanned three seasons of The Other Way. A frequent source of tension for the couple is Sumit's need to do right by his parents, even secretly marrying another woman in an arranged marriage and forcing Jenny to spend time with his disapproving parents. Sumit is currently unemployed, due to Jenny disapproving of him going out to work while she is retired. To make matters worse, Sumit and Jenny married without Sumit's parents' knowledge, making tensions even worse between the couple and Sumit's presence in their lives. Laura Jalali Laura moved to Qatar to be with her online boyfriend, Aladdin, despite concerns from her son. Laura and Aladdin were the source of some of the most cringeworthy quotes in 90 Day Fiancé history, frequently referring to their sex life as Jiggy Jiggy. Laura's openness about sex was a huge source of tension between them, as Aladdin was more conservative. Laura and Aladdin divorced after season 1 wrapped, with Laura citing cheating as the cause of the relationship's demise. Now, Laura is dating a 25-year-old college student, having moved back to the U.S. Aladdin Jalali Traditional Aladdin frequently butted heads with Laura on the other way regarding sex, especially when Laura gifted him with sex toys. Still, the couple got married at the end of the season, although Laura's son Liam was reluctant to take part in the celebrations. Aladdin and Laura's marriage lasted around a year, with the couple's divorce being finalized in 2020. Now, Aladdin appears to be married to his partner, a fellow personal trainer named Maria, having wed in Tunisia. Just to check it.